first of all, just a couple key facts on the water park. It's a two acre expansion that we've actually done. How we actually did that with the space is we just last year bought two pieces of property down north of where we're currently standing to expand our parking lot. So we basically shifted our parking over to here. We tore out our Pacific Spin ride, which was a flume ride that you actually went in a raft. And that's where we added our family raft ride that we will see. And then we added the other two slides over here, uh, which actually is a complex that has six slides on it. So we have that, we have an expanded cabana area where we added 20 cabanas into the park and expanded midway, grass seating areas. Clearly, we're very excited. Uh, as we walk through, you'll see uh, a lot of new throughout the entire park. We painted most of our attractions, got, got a new coat, new floorings. Uh, the expansion of the Longboards restaurant is very exciting. Guests will be able to get out of the sun while they're in line, get in some air conditioning for a little while, and uh, increase capacities. But again, as we get out there, we'll talk further on that. So we'll go ahead and go in. First place we're going to go is through the new entrance arch. Uh, one of the things that our guests made comments of as they were parking out here is where was the water park? Yeah. So we actually have put this sign up. It will have a Not Soak City logo above there as we go through. As you do walk into the park, you'll see we actually added a fountain in the front entrance. If you were here before, that was actually a flower statement uh, with the surfer there. This is actually now a fountain. will have a wave effect underneath the surfer. Um, nice part about it is that it was actually originally planned to go in when we first opened the park in 99. So the tube piping was actually already there to the mechanical building. The Soak City Winter Park, welcome to probably one of the most photographed locations in the park. Uh, you have a lot of families that take an annual photo there every single year. And that is actually, we kept it so you can see the photo and you'll see the changes. What we wanted to do was soften up the feel. If you haven't been here before, it was concrete all the way up to the buildings. The reason this bridge is blocked off is we've actually redone the walking surface over that clean up the whole park. So besides our biggest focus being on lawn boards and the expansion of the two additional acres to get us to 15 acres, it was really we wanted to touch the whole property so it wasn't just the new area and everything was old and the same. We are on the far west side of the Lazy River. It's a third of a mile along the Lazy River. There's two entrances on the far side, one from inside of an island and one on the outside walkway. Uh, the nice part about the other entrance is right next to the expansion area. I mentioned earlier we touched the whole park besides the expansion. As you see to my left, your right, is all the new furniture that we're actually assembling right now to put into the cabanas. We've upgraded all of our seating tables, lounge chairs in every single one of our cabanas in addition to adding 20 cabanas throughout the property. Uh, the large tower behind, you can see it's actually been re-gel coated and painted. It had been very faded. We've tried with the oxidation out here in California in the sun, it fades very quickly. We cleaned them a couple years ago and by mid-summer it was already back to its old look. So those have been redone, as well as the fun house that we're gonna go by. To my right, you'll also see a Coke building. That is new, it was also, it was a snack shack before. That'll be a Coke refill to go with our refill that we have in the park. And also to the right is an eight icy station. To our left is Grimmy Lagoon. Uh, that is the area for the smaller children. In that area, you have slides, turtles, uh, dolphins, I'm sorry, whale, crabs, everything. They're soft toys that kids can play on interactive elements. That is a zero entry pool. What it means is there's no lift, it's sort of like the ocean. You just slowly go walk in and it gets deeper. I believe it's only about a foot in the very middle. Um, to our right is what was formerly Dick's Beach House. Um, give you a little history and I'll let you guys figure it out. You'll see it's now RK's Beach House. It was named after Dick, which was Richard Kinzel, so it was RK. However, it now is RK's Beach House and our uh, regional Vice President is Rafi Kaprelian, so I'll let you guys decide, connect the dots, who is RK? You guys got to figure that one out on your own. Right in this area here, uh, this is now the longboards and the seating area we've talked about. This is the shade structure that's going up. They still have more sails that they're putting on. Uh, we have new tables and chairs going in this area, which are actually sitting over to the side under these pallets, so they're ready to go. And then into longboards itself, which is now, uh, we'll take you in there. It's actually a queue line where you'll be able to go in, have uh, freshly breaded chicken, strips, hamburgers, hot dogs, and so forth in there, and then come out. There is no actual dining area inside the location. It'll be under this shade structure or up on the promenade deck up there. As we go in through the park, we'll be able to go in and see the new interior of the longboards. 
what we did is we actually doubled the size of lawn boards, uh, expanded it quite a bit. We added a whole new employee area, break area inside for them, as well as a location for them to go inside and get meals as well on this side of the park. So the way this works, it's like a buffeteria. You'll either queue up in here, either side left or right. Come along, uh, pick up your trays. This will be the hot food line with cold at the very end. So now right behind me, we are at the expansion area of the park. Uh, about five feet behind me was parking lot back in September that we used all the way through Scary Farm. And then we started our demo on October 31st with tearing out Pacific Spin. As was previously mentioned, we added uh, seven new attractions. We have our family raft, which will have a greater capacity than the attraction that, was, uh, that it replaced, uh, which will be a nice experience for our guests being that they'll be able to uh, experience more attractions. Uh, we were pretty heavy loaded on the south side of the park, so this should help level out uh, the, the guest experience. We'll be placing some seating right here in front of the cabanas. And as you can see, we've uh, spread no expense with uh, the increased landscaping throughout this uh, new area and the entryway to the park. All the feedback I'm getting right now is these two are fast in comparison to a lot of the other tube slides. And I rode them last night and I can concur. They are nice and quick. <laughs> a couple of them are clear and you can physically see the guests uh, enjoying the ride. We'll go ahead and open the door for them. They'll step in. We will close the door. You know, we'll give them all the, the riding instructions. And then we'll go ahead and hit one of the, the two buttons here to launch them. There will be a countdown from three, two, one, and then the floor will drop away from them and they in turn will take off. Now is that the operator come This is the wedge. This is the family raft ride. Uh, six passenger tube slide that you'll go on to. This one is the only one that has a conveyor, so you don't have to carry the tube to the top. And you're glad because it is really heavy. And it goes directly into the pool. And then up to six guests can ride on it with the capacity being a thousand pounds worth of humans. So oh my God, myself, I wouldn't, there wouldn't be six of me in there. Uh, but up to six people, up to a thousand pounds. So two is the minimum, up to six. And then you'll ride it all the way down into the splash pool, and then this tube will take its way all the way back up.